Guys, I cheated when I was in middle school. It wasn't the right thing to do, but today I'm telling you this story for a very good reason. Growing up, my parents expected a lot of me, especially in school. I had this idea in my mind that I absolutely had to get straight A's, and if I got anything less, I'd panic. I thought that I'd never get into a good college or even find a good job. My parents took school so seriously that they'd even offer me and my brother's gifts if we got good grades. They'd also punish us if we didn't, like they'd take my Xbox or not let me use the computer or tutor us on the subject that we weren't doing well on. And that was brutal. One of my brothers was even sent to summer school multiple times because of his bad grades. And I think my parents were hoping that these punishments would make us study harder. But honestly, that pressure just made us better at lying and cheating. One time, I went to a science fair and received a third place ribbon. And I was so afraid of what my parents would think that I looked over and saw that the project next to me had a first place ribbon on it. Without hesitation, I just swapped my third place ribbon with the first place ribbon from the kid's project next to me. My parents then showed up and they were like, Ollie, first place, great job. And I was like, oh yeah, uh, first place. Yeah, I mean, uh, they said it was like the best project they'd ever seen. And that wasn't the right thing to do, but the pressure from my parents made me feel like failure was not an option. It genuinely made me believe that if I got anything other than an A in school, my life would be over. Which brings us to this next moment. I was in English class and there was an assignment that was worth a huge part of my final grade. And after doing this huge assignment, my teacher handed us our projected final class grade. And what I saw was my worst nightmare. I couldn't believe my eyes. This couldn't actually be happening. A B? This had to be a mistake. Like, I can't get a B. My parents are gonna be so angry when they find out. I'm not gonna get to play RuneScape for weeks or worse. I'm gonna have to join my brother in summer school. But wait, what if I could just stop them from finding out? What if I could find a way to change my grade so that they'd never even know I got a B? But how was I supposed to do that? Well, here's the thing. You see that right there? That's called a grade book. And when I was in middle school, teachers used actual books to store students' grades. Online grades were not a thing yet. Which meant if the teacher misplaced the grade book or if, you know, someone stole it, the grades in the grade book would be lost forever, which is exactly what I needed. So with the remaining minutes of class, I decided that I was gonna hatch up a plan to steal the grade book. But to pull it off, I needed to keep an eye on my teacher and study her movements. Because at any moment, she'd end class, and if I let her do that, I may never get another chance to steal the grade book. So I'd watch her closely and wait for the perfect time to make my move. Lucky for me, I've been with this teacher for an entire semester. I knew her quirks and her habits. Habits like putting important documents in the left drawer without locking it. Despite the fact that she carries her keys with her 24 seven, I knew where the grade book would be. But the question was, how would I get it? I'd need a distraction. Something that'd keep her just occupied long enough for me to get to the drawer, grab the grade book and get out of the classroom. That's right. I almost forgot she always asks the students if they have any questions before the lunch bell rings. This could be my chance. If I waited for the perfect amount of time, I could make my move while everyone's distracted and getting up from their seats. Or I could do what I really did and just wait until lunchtime to make my move. I needed an alibi, so I told my friends I needed to go to the bathroom. I knew that the hallways would be empty because the teachers normally ate together during lunch. And when I got to the classroom, I could see it right there on top of her desk. It was so quiet, I walked up to the grade book, grabbed it, and immediately rushed over to my bag and stuffed it in there. I was nervous at any moment someone could walk in and ask me why I'm in the classroom. Maybe the teacher comes back early from lunch, but I rushed out, looked in the hallways, no one was there, and I actually kept the grade book in my backpack for most of the day, but I couldn't take it home. I had to hide it somewhere. So I went into the bathrooms and lifted up those square ceiling panels and I found a spot to hide it in there. And when we all got back to class, I noticed that my teacher was looking all around her desk for the grade book, which made me so nervous because I wasn't sure if she saw me take it or maybe if someone told her. So I just sat at my desk, just praying that she didn't come over to speak to me. And what's crazy is the fact that my teacher never said anything about it. 
I guess she just assumed that she'd lost it. And when I got away with it, all I wanted to do was tell my friends about it, but I couldn't. And I trusted my friends, but if they told someone else, it would only be a matter of time before the teacher found out, and then my parents would find out. But because I kept silent, they never even knew. And since my teacher didn't have a backup grade book, she had to reset all of the students' grades. So I actually ended up with an A by the end of the semester. It didn't feel right to reset everybody's progress, but it let me avoid my problem with my parents, at least for a little while. But that feeling wouldn't last long because the next semester, there was another assignment that counted for a huge part of my final grade. And when the teacher handed me my projected grade for that quarter, I was horrified to see that I got another B. I felt like I deserved an A, but I decided to cheat again. Only this time, there was a major problem. When we got back to class, my teacher saw that her gradebook was gone. And the first time that it happened, my teacher assumed it was her mistake. But the second time, she clearly knew something was up. So this time, she told us to put our backpacks on our desks to look through them. And so everyone started freaking out. Someone even turned to me and said, did you do it? I won't tell anyone if it was you. But I kept my mouth shut. I had so many thoughts racing through my mind. Did my teacher know that I did it? What was she gonna do when she finds out I did it? Was she gonna get the principal to expel me? Would I just flunk out of middle school or worse? Would she tell my parents? Eventually, my teacher got to my bag. I stared at her and watched as she unzipped my bag to look for the grade book, but it wasn't there. See, the last time I sold the grade book, I had it in my bag for most of the day, but when I stole it again, I had a feeling my teacher would be suspicious. So I stashed it in the bathroom right after I swiped it. And so my teacher never found it. The grades were reset again, and I finished that semester with an A. I got away with it again. But here's the craziest part. About five years later, I actually went back to my old middle school to pick up my little brother. I was walking through the halls when I started thinking to myself, I wonder if they're still there. So I made my way back to the bathroom and once I got there, I lifted up the ceiling tile and the two grade books were still there. Listen, I got away with it, but it's something I really, really regret. I'm telling you this story because it's so easy to get caught up in the expectations that your parents might have for you. It might feel like middle school or high school is the most important thing in the world and you have to do everything you can to succeed. But in reality, if I had just been open and honest with my parents, I'm sure they would have been understanding. I just didn't have the courage to go to them and tell them that I got a B. There's no need to turn to the dark side to get out of something that really doesn't matter that much at the end of the day. And besides, they don't even use grade books anymore. 